fellow passengers. On behalf of our flight crew, I'd like to welcome you aboard to Hollow Flight 1647. Today, we fly over South Africa. Based on the feedback from our last flight, it seems like a lot of the passengers here that fly with Hollow Flights would like to experience the magnificent wildlife of what is South Africa. Beyond, sorry. Africa being as large as it is, we cannot entirely fly over the entire place in one sitting. So we're going to be focusing on one particular spot where we can hopefully again encounter its beauty and its wild animals. Kruger National Park, which is actually one of Africa's largest game reserves and it covers over 19,000 square kilometers. Yes, I googled that, so if it's incorrect, blame Google. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, please be advised that today's flight experience will begin in midair, so it is very important that you put your cell phones on airplane mode because we do not want to die trying to look at beautiful wild animals, but we will be landing at the Palaborwa International Airport. I think that's what it's called. We also thought that it'd be fun to give our passengers three fun facts about Africa as part of our total flight package. Fun fact number one, did you know that there are between 1,500 and 2,000 spoken languages in Africa? There are at least 3,000 distinct ethnic groups in Africa and around 2,000 different languages are spoken and each of them have different dialects. Fun fact number two, did you know that Africa is the source of the world's longest river? The Nile River is the longest river in the world and it is approximately 4,258 miles. Finally, fun fact number three, did you know that Africa is home to the world's oldest university? The oldest existing and continually operating educational institution in the world is the University of Corinne, Athens of Africa, which was founded in 859 AD. Thank you for flying with Hollow Flights. It is our pleasure to pleasure you in the skies. For today's aircraft of choice, we're gonna be flying in the BEA beautiful Beechcraft Baron G58 with a cruise speed of 176 knots true airspeed with a max altitude of 20,688 feet, a seven hour endurance and a range of 1,000 480 nautical miles. We are soaring through the skies. Before we take a look outside, let's appreciate the interior of this beloved freaking aircraft. Absolutely insane. Only a man could dream of being able to afford one of these. But anyhow, we have changed our destination slightly. It's, it's a little bit closer, but we are still headed in the same destination, which is above a Kruger Park International or Kruger National Park. Hopefully, it, it, it's really hard to sometimes fly over a specific area here because you have to kind of look at the GPS on your phone or on the maps and it could be a little confusing. Now, what I want to do is I want to drop altitude. I want to get really, really close and personal. And I kind of want to fly above this river a little bit here, which looks absolutely incredible. Oh my god, this looks insane. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. We've never flown this aircraft, by the way, so please excuse me. <laughs> I do want to say that I've seen a lot of people contact me about teaching me how to fly these planes and pretty much teaching me the ins and outs, and I truly appreciate it. And eventually, I will contact you back. I want to get my old purse and then see how I do with that, and we'll take it from there. But right now, let's take a look at this magnificent part of the world holy cow oh my god dude this is incredible no sights of wildlife yet unfortunately I'm gonna slow my plane down a little bit. See if we can. Uh... See if we can spot some wildlife here. But this is indeed South Africa. I'm almost certain of it. Let's fly a little closer to the uh, the water here. Oh, oh no, we don't want to do that. Oh no, no, we don't want to do that. 
we go a little bit above the water here. Get a little crazy with it. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Sorry. Some bumpy road here. Got this first person view going. There we go. Now, I think that's where we're supposed to be headed to. Just really want to see if we can uh, manage to come across some wildlife here. Seems to be an interesting slope on this side of the lake. I, I, this is this is breathtaking. I know it's just a simulator, guys, but this is your captain speaking here. Okay, this is this is amazing. And look at the skies today. Beautiful puffy clouds. Beautiful weather. I don't know if the animals will spawn in. I mean, I don't know. I'm starting to second guess ourselves here, guys. Gotta be completely honest. Captain's lost. He's confused. I'm starting to question his abilities to fly people over Africa. Well, if we don't see the animals, at least we'll experience Africa for its natural beauty. Hopefully, we'll see some wild animals here. We've still got a decent amount to go. Wow, man. The fact that you can fly over Africa and, and actually get to see how large this is. It's just land on top of land on top of land. It's like never ending. It's absolutely incredible. Supposedly, it's supposed to give you like a marker and it'll say giraffes or it'll say elephants or what have you. And then within that marker is where you'll see the wildlife. Just trying to see if we can spot some here. A little bit, a little bit of patience. It is a simulator, so there's not going to be all the animals in the world here. <laughs> It'd be crazy. But hopefully we'll find some. We will definitely find some. gotta keep on searching you see there's like a mountain up there you see that oh yeah there we go come on give me something baby give me something dear Africa our passengers have paid good money to see some wildlife for the love of God Give us some damn wildlife. So what do we have here? Well, not wildlife, that's for sure. Could be a... Could be garbage, honestly. Alrighty, well... We've been flying for quite some time now and still no sign of wildlife. Attention all passengers, we have navigated back into the world map in hopes that I think we have finally found the area where we will encounter elephants. Look at the conditions of the weather! Oh. 0777 Beechcraft X-Ray Golf Sierra. This is insane! My fellow passengers, Copy Beechcraft X-Ray Golf Sierra. I'm excited to let you know that we might just encounter some elephants right here, right now, live in the flesh. Unfortunately, we were in the wrong place, in the wrong part of Africa. But your captain never lets you down. I've searched the world in hopes for us to encounter these elephants. Look at this, dude. How do, how do I how do I get rid of that? That's insane. That's crazy. Is that because of the weather? Like, I mean, it, it doesn't even look hot. I mean, cold here. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, we can encounter them here. Here we go. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Slow down the engine. Oh! 
Look at the elephants! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is beautiful. <clears throat> I mean, this is uh, to be expected. Stop. This is your captain Stop. here. Flight conditions Stop. are a little crazy right now. Stop. Stop. How unfortunate that my... Oh, man. I guess we're coming back around. Take a look at the elephants. Oh my god! That's insane! Alright guys, and now we have traveled a little bit east of where we were with the elephants in hopes that we can find some giraffes. So, we are still in Africa, of course. We're just going over this really, really, really huge river here. And exactly over there is where the giraffes should be. Now, according to what I've seen, the reason why it's so hard to spot animals is because they're not everywhere. And whether it might be an update in the future or not, at the moment, they're not, they're just not as many animals as normally there would be in real life, of course. Hopefully within future updates, that'll be fixed. We'll have to wait and see. But this area right here looks amazing. This just looks incredible. Like Africa, the colors in Africa are like the terrain. It's the orange is so beautiful. I was hoping that we would encounter like zebras and lions and stuff, but maybe that's somewhere else. This right here, this is, wow. I wish I could disable the HUD for a bit. All right, so we're just almost there. About four minutes away so we should be almost there oh my goodness this is this is incredible again this flying session has taken me about an hour and 50 minutes flight simulator is no easy task I'm gonna start trying to lower myself a little bit I'm going to keep the engine going. Bring this up. Oh my goodness. I love this plane, by the way. So beautiful. All right, we should definitely start lowering ourselves as we reach the area where we might possibly find the giraffes at. Now, some people have said that the giraffes are sometimes not here. Just depends. Maybe we won't spot them, but maybe we will. did encounter the African elephants. I really hope that they add a lot more wildlife in this, in this simulator. I feel like it would be extremely cool to see. 
Like, imagine you're flying over a certain part of the ocean, and then out of nowhere, you see, like, a whale jump out or something. <laughs> How crazy would that be, huh? That would be insane. All right, so we're starting to even out here. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. My trim, my trim has to go a little lower than that. Why is it going all the way down there? Okay. Here we go. Probably should have gotten lower earlier. That's okay. Here we go, guys. Giraffes. Stop. Stop. Oh my god! <laughs> That's amazing. Stop. Okay, we're gonna see if we can circle back around. Stop. Let's put some Stop. power. All right, we're gonna turn this way. All right, here we go. I have to do this so I, I can disable the HUD, guys. Stop. Stop. Wow, dude. Stop. Stop. I'm so sorry for the crappy flying. It's just... Stop. I'm trying to really get as low as I possibly can. Alright, here we are. Look at the giraffes right there. I gotta do this to take out all the HUD. Look at them there. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. That was cool. Well, after about almost two hours, we finally found them. I thought there was gonna be a little bit more, but again, that might be something that they'll implement in a future update. There are certain areas where you'll see the giraffes, and there's more wildlife, but. You just have to explore the, the, the actual globe and see where they're at. They're going to be uh, pinned as markers. And if you find the marker, you can go there and you can just depart from that area. And you'll be able to pretty much depart your airplane from where that animal is. Or you know, that herd of giraffes or elephants or what have you. But uh, yeah, there you have it. That has been first look at the African giraffes and African elephants. I don't know if we call them African giraffes. But uh, definitely super cool to see. I just wish I could take out the the, the uh, little icons. That's illegal! That's illegal! Fellow passengers, I'd like to inform you that our computer has run out of memory, therefore we could not proceed with the landing. I can assure you we have landed safely. And again, from everyone in the crew, thank you for choosing Hollow Flights.